it alone. Out on the street, anybody on you need to go on a home. And we ain't never do me guilty. I know. Try many mountains near or home. Me on. And we never let him Hey, Barb. Yes, Star. You know what I just love? What? Movie trailers. <gasps> Me too! I like how they're little movies about another movie before a different movie. Sometimes I find myself watching a trailer for a movie while I'm watching a totally different movie. What? Me too! <gasps> Barb! What if we had a movie? What? <laughs> then we'd have to have a trailer. Oh, yes, listen. I wouldn't want to give anything away, though, about the movie. Me neither. Especially our faces. Gosh. I can almost see our trailer now. Oh, I'd love it if it came out February 12th. Gosh, I love that date. I'm 23 years old and sometimes I wonder if life was wasted on me. Take all the beautiful things to heart till I about die from it. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing. Hey, I'm really happy you're here. Why is that? Because I like you. But there never seems to be enough time to do. You're it for me. I feel the same way. I joined the army. Why would you do that? Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's gonna happen. And it's a nightmare. My one true accomplishment was not dying. I have this noise in my head. It'll stop. One day it'll go quiet. I don't imagine that anyone goes in for a robbery if they're not in some kind of desperation. I've been at this a while now, and it's no secret what my face looks like. Get on the ground! The one thing about robbing banks is you're mostly robbing women, so the last thing you want to be is rude. Ma'am, it's nothing personal. You're gonna make it through this. I love you. Can you look back to when you met the one you loved the most and remember exactly how it was? What you saw in her that made you say, yes, this is what I came here for. Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's gonna happen. And it's a nightmare. This is your captain, welcoming you to flight 227. Off we go. You ready to give it a go? I can't remember how to do this. There's nothing to crash into up here. <coughs> Jackson! He's having a heart attack! <laughs> ah! Pull us up! What are we gonna do? Please come in, this is an emergency, we have no pilot. We're lost. How much fuel do we have? 
have no autopilot, no GPS. Neither of us can land a plane. It's gonna be okay. Amazing what you just did. Stupid. It's so amazing. I want to share something with you. Like the masses, I was in awe when I first laid eyes on all the things you are. I heard that speech. I knew we make noise. I just thought it'd be in the streets. The Black Panthers are the single greatest threat to our national security. Our counterintelligence program must prevent the rise of a black messiah. You're looking at 18 months for the stolen car, five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. What do you want? Get close to Hampton. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Neutralize him by any means necessary. America's on fire right now. And until that fire is extinguished, nothing else means a damn thing. Imagine what we could accomplish together. We can heal this whole city. You ain't tell me it was gonna be like this. These ain't no terrors. We got a rat, man. Does anybody else know about me? No one knows your identity. Are you sure? We educate, we nurture, we feed, and we lobby. Perhaps we're here for more than just war with these bodies. We scream, and we shout, and we live by this anthem. But it's power to the people really worth their ransom. When I dedicated my life to people, I dedicated my life. You get to go out there and talk about dying a revolutionary death because you don't have another person growing inside your body. Anywhere there's people, there's power. Good morning, Miss Peterson. I'm sorry to disturb you so early. The court has ruled that you require assistance in taking care of yourself. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm afraid it's not up to you to decide. The court has appointed me to be your legal guardian. What? You have to come with me. And remember, I'm here to help. My name is Marla Grayson. I'm just someone who cares. Marla Grayson, you've had amazing success. What's your secret? There is no secret, Peter. She forces them into the home, auctions off their house, and uses the proceeds to pay herself. Because caring is my job. Mitch! I will grab your dick and balls, and I will rip them clean off. Big deal maker. I know what you do here. Your hustle. Look at all these cash cows on your wall just leaking money into your account. But Jennifer Peterson, she's off limits. She has very powerful friends who can make life uncomfortable for you. How uncomfortable are we talking? I love Marla Grayson. I don't like you. You only just met me. There's two types of people in this world. Predators and prey. I don't lose. I won't lose. I'm never letting you go. Oh, you're in trouble now. Fucking lioness.
religious town like ours, sins were dreaded, even feared. You and your little posse are parading around school, calling yourselves the seven deadly sins? From now on, you will walk in the path of the Lord. Once people started calling us the sins, everything changed. Ladies, it's time we take our sins to the next level. Salmus Spiritum Vulcan. What's going on? This is a devil chant. He wants to meet you. He wants you to say his name. Aubrey Miller. She went missing last night. We're all in this together, okay? Satan trembles when he sees God face to face. They are asking for trouble with that behavior. <laughs> we are so tired of being good little girls. Don't you want to be bad for once in your life? You eat them? Yeah. What do you do? I lend people money. There's a lot of foolish people who think they can take advantage of you. Soon things get ugly. It's nothing personal. It's just strictly business. May I remind you that these evaluations are part of your parole requirements? Amir, how's she doing? Find a guess. What's she up to? Are you in some kind of trouble? I owe some money for some big drug lord. You better hurry up. You're actual psychopaths who enjoy killing and torturing. Give me my money. I cannot pay you. Why did you give me my money? You want to blame someone? Blame the ones who put the drugs in her hand. Oh, she's got left. Just get the desk paid. Come on! This is your last chance. When your clock's punched. Your clock's punched. You do what you gotta do. Don't you know who this is? She was thinking of something more special. I'm downright flashy, you know. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Billy Holiday. Reporters keep asking me, really, why you do the things you do? This is what I tell them. I love me. We love you. The NAACP says Billy Holiday is the voice of our people. I think we should integrate the audience for this show. Let's change it up a little bit. You know, blacks and whites sitting together. You know what you're getting yourself into when you decide to come on the road. Get out my goddamn clothes. I'm going to take everything except your bra and your man. <laughs> Which one of my songs is your favorite song? Strange Fruit. Yeah, it's a song about important things, you know, things that are going on in the country. This holiday woman's causing a lot of people to think the wrong things. It's a starting gun for this so-called civil rights movement. Those lyrics provoke people. Y'all got a plan? She's a drug addict. Exactly. I cut strange fruit. I want to sing the damn song. It's for your own good, OK? I say what the fuck I want. Off that stage. They're strange fruit. They won't let me sing nowhere. No clubs, no money, no nothing. 
You gotta understand, baby. Right now, I'm in a situation. Look, you said we could beat this, Billy. I need some now. Blood on the leaves. You're like a hammer. Come right back and it hit harder than before. And blood. He's singing it for all of us. Ain't no other Negro star bold enough to do it. Black body swinging. I'm being followed. I'm not gonna count in no fears. In the southern breeze. She's made something of herself and you can't take it because she's strong, beautiful, and black. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. You think I'm gonna stop singing that song? You grandkids will be singing Strange Fruit. picture in my head of a place. I don't know if it's real, but it has a feeling, and the feeling's real. Hi, my love. Hi, Dad. I wanted to talk to you about my graduation. I think I'm gonna be there in the bleachers. I'm gonna see you in your... Let me, let me, Are how about I, I call you back? Okay. Taking the day off in here? The boss wants to see you. Can I get a whiskey? Double. You're real. Sorry? I want to tell you something really cool. You see all these people outside? They're not real. This is a simulation. You ready? There's my guy. Welcome home. This place is overwhelming. Dr. Isabel Clemens pioneered brain box simulations. Ugly, simulated worlds to generate appreciation for the real world. Now why am I not remembering any of this? Don't worry about it. Here I go. Most people say ignorance is bliss. But I say you have to experience the good to appreciate the bad. And on the other way around. Exactly. I'm glad I caught you. Word on the street that there have been problems with Isabel's research. I'm a little disoriented. You're my guy. Dad. Graduation. I did not forget. It's been a crazy few days. You graduated two weeks ago. Ignore her. She's not real. She feels real. I'm scared. Your head's not on straight. It's almost like a trick being played. Greg, this is really bad. So how do we fix it? One of these days, you're going to have to choose between these worlds. It's amazing how easy humans can get used to even something spectacular. strong. You are important. You matter. Sis, what happened? Someone destroyed my house. Where's Carl? I think someone took him. Who would take Carl? Sue? Uh, <laughs> Local banker Carl Buttons abducted from his home in what appears to be a violent struggle. Hey, babe. Carl's in trouble. Turn on Channel 2 News. Is there anything you want to say to the people? I know you're out there, Carl. I know I'll see you again. Ooh. Oh, shit. They kidnapped my brother. Should I get my gun? I'll get my gun. Mrs. Buttons, usually in a missing person case, people call the police before they call the media. Carl was such a sweet man. Why would anyone take him? This is a photo of me and Carl, in case you need it for all the press conferences. Can you think of someone who might want to harm your brother? Nope. Oh, dear. Nope, nope. People don't fear you. I can't trust you to handle my business if people don't fear you. Let him go, or I shoot you in the face with this gun. That's my vagina. You gonna shoot me in the vagina? No, oh, I respect that area. It's not nice to point guns at people. 
Carl isn't the guy who gets kidnapped. He's the guy who runs off on his wife. If this whole kidnapping thing is fake, you need to come clean. So if you did something, I can help you. Are you afraid? What? Yes. I am strong. Not enough. I got a body. I am important. Answer this door! I am enough. Don't you think so? I think so, too. <laughs> It's been a weekend of horror in Yuba County. A weekend of chaos and loss. Can you uh, not kill my vibe? It's a good day. Don't you think it's a good day? No. I've done nothing wrong. I just want my husband back. I swear these white bitches are crazy. Pat Morita. Mr. Pat Morita. Oh, yeah. Pat Morita, ladies and gentlemen. Lenny Bruce's mother named him the hip nip, but he hung on because now all of a sudden he had an angle. He would tend to do the same show over again. <laughs> and then he couldn't figure out why he wasn't getting laughs. I don't think he paid much attention to the rules of the game. You know, he kind of did what he wanted to do. He really embraced the things that many of us run away from. He, he ran to it. He opened for Vic Damone, Connie Stevens, and uh, Red Fox, who put him on his show. He was just a lovely, lovely man. Pat went on and became a huge star. And he created one of the iconic characters in American cinema. One thing I learned with comics is they were actually some of the most unhappy, tortured people, and their comedy comes from pain. I mean, he was in a cast for like nine years, from his knees to like his neck for his childhood. The day he gets out, he walks into a war. He had a lot of inner demons. He struggled a lot with depression and he was drinking too much. I think he was doing too much drugs. He was drinking so much that I went to the line producer and said, I'm scared to death he's gonna fall off a cliff. And he was stumbling and, and he fell flat on his face. That was when it really, really hit home and he realized, I've got a big problem. That entire chapter of my life changed me forever. They said this war would be over in the blink of an eye. What we do when this war is over? Like everyone else, we jump on the bandwagon. It's a mobile battalion. Considerez que les Nordistes ont déjà gagné cette guerre. Tout ce que vous avez ici, vous allez le perdre. Who are you? Victor Lud. Your father knows who I am. Cinq fois cette somme, si vous nous guidez jusqu'au prochain bateau pour la France. Come along this side. Slowly, don't look down. I'm the one who decides what's right or wrong around here. We'll soon be moving into Yankee territory. There was a woman là-bas. Where? By the river. She looked deranged. Sell horses. I've been waiting for you. I know this thing between us isn't over. What happened? This is all his fault. He dragged us into this. Stay here. Anyone comes near, shut yourselves inside. He's coming with me, Esther. He doesn't want you anymore. 